Hi guys! Welcome sa ating series of discussion ukol sa surveying at highway engineering. Bago tayo magpatuloy guys, sana ay samahan nyo ako sa ating ginagawang talakayan sa pamagitan ng pag-subscribe sa ating channel at kung ikaw ay may mga kaibigan na sa palagay mo ay mga ngailangan nito ay pakishare na rin para makarating din sa kanila itong ating ginagawang discussions. Ang ating discussion guys ay ukol sa problem about simple curvature. And the problem goes like this. A back tangent having an azimuth of 230 degrees is intersected by a forward tangent having an azimuth of 300 degrees at a stationing of 1 plus 250. The two tangents are connected by a 9 degree simple curve. And here we are required to determine all the elements of simple curvature. Guys, we will start with uh, okay, the solution by drawing first ano, the directions of the tangent. Itong 230 degrees na simut ay tumutukoy sa direction ng tangent. Kaya ipakita natin itong kanyang direction. So, kung ito yung kanyang south, kung ito yung kanyang south, okay, then from there, a 230 degrees angle is measured so that the direction ito ay yun ang direction ng back tangent. At somewhere here along this direction, okay, there is another tangent, okay, whose direction is at 300 degrees azimuth. Mga katwid, ang direction niya, okay, ay makikita sa pamagitan ng pag-measure mula sa south. And then, ito ngayon ang kanyang maging direction, okay, at 300, there is our direction of the forward tangent. And the curve, or the tangents are connected by a 9 degree simple curvature. So, let's start with solving for first for the I. Yung I ay tinatawag nating intersection angle. Nasaan ba siya? Ito, nakita natin ito, no? Yung kanyang I. Balik natin. Here is the I. And how do we get for that value of I? Para makita natin yung relation ng yung I sa so, magita ng directions ng back at forward tangents, let us try to redraw the directions of the back tangent okay, together with that of the forward tangent somewhere here. So, if it is the direction of... Uh, the back tangent and here is our i therefore we can see establish the relationship between okay the i the direction of the forward tangent and the direction of the back ta back tangent as such makikita natin that the i shall be equal to the difference between the direction of the forward tangent and the direction of the back tangent as such i i malabas na 70 degrees Kaya itong ay neto, nakikita natin sa illustration, siya ay 70 degrees. Then from there, okay, masolve natin ngayon ang kanyang radius. Ano? Kasi given naman ang kanyang degree. At alam natin yung okay, formula of uh, the radius from a degree, it is equal to 1145.916 divided by the degree of the curvature. So that if this degree is substituted with the value of 9, then we shall have a radius equal to 127.324. That's the value of the radius. Now, let us now solve for the tangent distance. Okay? What's the formula for the tangent distance? The tangent distance is equal to R times tangent of I over 2. We already have computed for the value of R and we already have known the value of i so we can substitute the value in the formula so that we can solve for the value of the tangent tangent therefore is equal to 127.324 times tangent of 70 over 2 substituting that value so we shall have e equal to 89.37 kaya kung masolve natin itong t neto okay malalaman natin siya kung nasaan siya dito no kung saan siya sa makatwin, if that would be the value of the okay, 89.153, di ba? Kung ito yung value ng 89.153, therefore, from here, we can now draw a line okay, that's, that is perpendicular to the back tangent so that we can now see here, we can now see here, okay, the location of, we can establish the direction of the location of the center of the circle or the arc. 
or the simple curvature. As such, on the other side, okay, at the same distance of 89.153, okay, may establish natin itong point na ito, makatwid from here we can draw, okay, our, okay, radius that is equal to 127.324. Okay, and that, the angle, okay, the angle between the two ra radii is equal to 70 degrees, okay? So, Puntahan natin ngayon itong uh, okay, stationing of the PC. How do we solve for the stationing of the PC? We have just discussed uh, in our first discussion that stationing of the PC is equal to what? Okay? It's equal to stationing of the vertex minus the tangent distance. Kaya kung ating stationing of the vertex is at 1 plus 250, which is this one, we subtract okay, the tangent distance of 189. 0.153 and that we shall have a stationing of the PC equal to 1 plus 160.847. Kaya itong station na ito, which is our PC, okay, will, have, will be at 1 plus 160.847. Pagkatapos natin masolve itong PC, your stationing of the PC, pwede natin makuha yung length of the curvature, ano, yung length of the curvature. So that, the length of the curve, which is LCU, no? I equal sa formula 20 times I divided by D. Since we know already the value of I, and we are given the value of D, which is 9 degrees, so when this will be substituted to our equation, our length of the curvature becomes 155.556. Okay, yan yung kanyang magiging value ng kanyang length of the curvature. Kaya kay papakita natin yan dito sa ating uh, kay, uh, drawing, it will start from PC and it will run okay, towards K and N at PT. Okay? Ito yung mangyayari. Okay? Yun yung mangyayari. And that distance is equal to 155.556. After which, we can now solve for what? Stationing of the PT. And we know that stationing of the PT shall be equal to the stationing of the PC. Kung ano man ito, Okay, dagdag lamang natin itong length of the curvature. And so, when that value is substituted, okay, stationing of the PT becomes 1 plus 160.847, okay, plus length of the curvature, which is 155.556, and so, we shall have stationing of the PT at 1 plus 316.403. Okay? So, pagkatapos nun, okay, makita natin yung kanyang PT, ano? So, we can now start solving for okay, the length of the full chord. Ano nga bali, ano, ano nga ulit full chord nito? Ito yung line that connects PC to PT. And we have the formula for the line of the full chord equal to 2R times sine of I over 2. Okay, the value of R is already known as well as okay, the value of uh, I. And so, when these are substituted in the formula, our C becomes 2 times 127.324 times sine of 70 over 2. And that gives us a value of 146.06. Kaya kung ino-drawing natin siya dito, okay, that C shall be this line whose magnitude is equal to 146.06. Now, solving for the external distance A. Okay. external distance A is shown in the figure to be the distance, the shortest distance from the vertex to the curve. And that is the line okay, joining okay, the center of the curve and okay, the intersection of the center of the curve and the line joining V and that of O to the vertex. So this is the value of our A. Okay. How are we going to solve for A? He has the formula that is R over cosine of i over 2 minus r. So, when we sub substitute for the value, what are we going to have? Our value becomes 127.324 uh, okay, divided by cosine of 35 because i over 2 is 35. Okay? Minus 127.324 e gives us a value of 28.11. Pagkatapos yan, anong pwede natin solvin? So, we can now solve for, okay, the middle ordinate. Yan. 
Asa na middle ordinate? Middle ordinate is here, ano? <clears throat> the distance. Okay, from the curve to the long cord. Okay, the distance from the curve to the long cord measured along the line that joins O, this O, and the vertex of the okay, simple curvature. And we have the formula. The formula for M is equal to R times R, I'm sorry, R minus R cosine of I over 2. So when these are substituted, we shall have 127.324 minus the quantity 127.324 times cosine of 35. And so we shall have M equals 23.03. That's our value for M. Okay, after which we can solve for the sub value of the subcord C sub 1 and C sub 2. Itong tanong eh. Meron magang value ng C sub 1 at C sub 2. At kailan nagkakaroon ng value Okay, ang C sub 1 at C sub 2. Yan ay sasagutin sa pagkita ng, ng stationing of the PC at stationing of the PT. Sabi nga, kapag ang stationing ng PC ay hindi natapat sa isang full station, then there will be the value of okay, C sub 1. And C sub 1 shall be the difference between okay, what? the first full station minus the stationing of the, of the PC. Eh, ano yung itong first full station na tinutukoy? Eh, kung titinan natin sa ating kurbada, sa ating simple curve, okay, if PC starts at 160.847, okay, ano yung next stationing that is divisible by 20 after KPC? Isn't it that it is equal to 1 plus 180 and that is the point? 1 plus 180, di ba? Yun. Kaya itong value na ito, yun yung tinatawag natin C sub 1 or C sub 4. And the value becomes equal to what? Okay, 1, 1 plus 180 minus 1 plus 160.847. And that gives us a value of 19.153. What about C sub 2? Itong tanong, ano? Okay, uh, mayroon ba gang C sub 2 mabubuo? Okay, gaya nga ng sinabi natin, okay, magkakaroon ng C sub 2 kapag ang PD ay hindi na tapat sa isang full station. At ang full station na sinasabi dito ay yung station na divisible by 20. Since it is 1 plus 316 and that is not divisible by 20, hence, there will be C sub 2. At ang C sub 2 ay makukuha sa pamagitan ng stationing of the PT minus the last full station. At alin yung last full station na tinutukoy? Yun yung stationing before PT that is divisible by 20. And that is, observe natin ito, no? That is 316. What is the, four, uh, the last station that would be divisible by a okay, 20 before 316? Isn't it that that is stationing, okay, 1 plus 300? And therefore, that distance, nakikita nyo yung kulay blue na ito, okay, shall be what? Shall be our C sub 2. And C sub 2 will be the stationing of PT, Minus the last full station. And that is equal to okay, 1 plus 3, 16.403. Okay. That is the station of the PT. Minus 1 plus 300. And give, that gives us a value of 16.403. And you will notice that both value of C sub 1 are less than K20. So, pagkatapos, what shall we do? We can now solve for what? We can now solve for the sub-angles D1 and D2. If there are okay, C1 and C2, definitely there would be okay, the sub-angles okay, D1 and D2. Alin nga itong D1 and D2? Ito yung angle da, that will be subtended by C sub 1. Ito, whose formula is equal to okay, 2 times arc sine of C sub 1 divided by 2R. And so when that is substituted, we shall have KD okay, equal to 2 times sine, inverse sine of okay, 19.153 divided by 2 times 127.324. So when this is simplified, we shall have this sub 1 of 8.613. Itong value na ito is 8.613. At anong napunan ninyo sa value ng this sub 1? It should be less than the degree of the curvature because okay, the length that substand the angle is less than 20. Ano? And C sub 2, C sub 2, is this, uh, sorry, this sub 2, no? Is the angle subtended by C sub 2? Itong nakikita natin dito sa kabilang side nito. Okay? 
And that this sub 2 has a formula equal to 2 times arc sine of C sub 2 over 2R. Ito yung kanyang formula. So when that is substituted with a value, ano yung kanyang makikitang value? That is 2 times arc sine of 16.403 divided by 2 times 127.324. So that the value of this sub 2 is equal to 7.386. Ito yun. Ngayon, paano natin ipakikita, no? Mapasin natin that between the first full station at last full station, there actually, binubuo ito ng 120 meters because I have here 300 minus 180 is equal to 120. So, makatawid, from this first full station hanggang dito, ay binubuo pa siya ng ano, anim na full stations. And what are they? They are, okay, the 1 plus 200, 1 plus 220, 1 plus 240, 1 plus 260 at 1 plus 280. And we're going to examine ano, all of these K okay, points, K okay, chords will subtend okay, an angle equal to that of the degree of the curvature. So, kung titinan natin mabuti at observahan, ano, ang total itong angles na ito, ba? D1 plus D6 this plus D2 shall be equal to 70 degrees. At yan guys ang ating discussion about simple curvature. Sana ay nasundan ninyo ang naging discussion natin kung paano isolve ang mga elements ng simple curvature. Ano? At once again, muli ko kayong inibitahan na isubscribe itong ating channel. At kung may mga kaibigan ka na sa tingin mo ay mga ngailangan itong ating discussions ay hindi masama na ishare na rin natin itong ating channel. Guys, thank you again for watching.